Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturx. Welcome back to the channel. We're doing more Outer Wilds Echoes of the Eye and today I'm thinking we're going to go to that second village in The Stranger, the second one along the waterway with the tower that kind of always manages to fall over before we get a chance to go look at it. I know we had a good look around most of The Stranger in the last episode, a lot of the stuff was damaged, a lot of the stuff I feel like we don't have access to yet, but we did make a few interesting discoveries, and I'm trying to wrap my head around them. The big, big, big discovery for me was we didn't die to the supernova. We were recalled by the Ash Twin Project. So that's either there's something else going on here, there's something connecting the Nomai and this stranger, or the stranger is just in his own little pocket dimension and it is safe from the supernova and we're just getting recalled regardless. But I don't know, I think it must be the second one because there is no mention anywhere in any of the Nomai settlements, any of the Nomai ruins of this stranger. And it's kind of a Nomai's thing to seek out, to explore you know, it's, it's like their soul compels them to know things. And it's a bit weird that we haven't heard anything about this stranger. It was very, very well hidden. And I don't know if that's maybe just because the Nomai had kind of hyper fixated. They kind of got their blinkers on and were like, no, I have the universe or bust. So it's quite cool that we found it and the Nomai didn't. So that's a one up on us. That's, that's the one nil to Timberhearth, baby. I still am kind of uneasy at the Stranger and a few of you pointed out it's designed to be that way. It's designed to make you feel uneasy even when you don't know why. And I'm a bit worried because some of you have mentioned jump scares and I haven't really had any yet. There's been a few creepy bits. There's been the waterfall, like the, the dam broke the first time in episode one. Um, that did scare me, I will admit, that gave me the bejesus. And I think the second bit that kind of scared me, but not in a jump scare way, was the owl freaklet. I'm just going to call them freaklets until proven otherwise. When that was kind of almost doing like the ring kind of coming out of the TV thing I, I genuinely thought it was going to and I was very prepared to turn around and hightail it in a different direction I was terrified but that's enough yibber yabber yibber yabber jib oh my god put my teeth back in that's enough jibber jabbering let's get back into this and let's get exploring <sighs> here we go again everybody I will never get sick of waking up there I will never get tired of this, of this loop. I am still, I think I'm kind of getting back into being a little bit scared of finishing the game. I think I genuinely am still a little bit kind of reluctant to finish. So I'm going to mark this as where we're going. And I'm just going to have a quick look through here because I've got time paused for when we're looking through here. So I can actually have a look through and we can see what we discovered in the last few episodes. So there's the River Lowlands which is the first village. Low-lying region near the entrance to the Stranger. There are wooden buildings along the banks. Found several ornate metal artifacts inside a workshop surrounded by ghost matter. That's... That's still not sitting right with me. Something weird about ghost matter here. And I... I don't really know what it is yet. I'm hoping to kind of get more vibes as we're going through this. But there's something feels wrong about the ghost matter being there unless there's more ghost matter throughout the ship but at least we know when they got here that's about the only thing I can get from that other than that something in my gut is telling me something's wrong we've got the burned slide reels oh my god it actually plays the whole reel I wonder if there's a way to like replace them to fix the reels 
but I don't really know. There's there's different reels for different things. So I've seen the reel about where they came from. I think I've seen the reel about an eye, unless that's just the same one. I've seen the reel about the sarcophagus, and I have seen... I have not seen the slides about the... That thing. The artifact, that's the word. The cliffside building we still haven't reached. I think maybe we need to be there when the water level's higher, so maybe that's when the dam isn't broken. If that's the case, I might skip that first village first and just go straight there. We've seen the submerged structure. So according to old slide reel, the strange fault was encased in a large metal structure and lowered underwater. Why? Why? What did they put in this? What was so important? And why did they feel the need to bury it? Because it's, look, it's all burnt and broken. I can't see that. And that's giving me Eldritch horror vibe. They, they locked something in there. And it's either going to be something horrible or it's going to be something really mundane and boring. Oh, this is... I hate that. I hate that one. That's the real. That's the one. That's the one. Showed a, a strange vault being closed and sealed within chains and a glowing symbol. So is that different to the submerged structure? I don't know. I feel like they're connected. Cinder Isles. That's where we need to go today. Preferably. A pair of small rocky islands connected by a village of stilt houses. I found a large metal symbol for the eye of the universe inside a burnt out building. That's the temple, or what I believe to be the temple. There is definitely more to explore there. The reservoir we've been to. I wonder if there's more to see if we get there while it's full. An enormous reservoir with wooden piers and buildings on both shores. Find a room with a burnt control interface and a projection that seems to indicate a broken connection between a stranger and another craft. Yes. What was that about? What were they doing? What were they up to? And another burnt slide reel that we haven't seen anywhere. Cool. I'm happy with that. Let's let's go. We're not going to find anything by sitting here looking. We need to get out there and we need to get adventuring. And that's absolutely fine with me. First of all, though, I do just need to... Where is it? There it is. Here's everything. Here's everything that's good. Oh, boy. I've been waiting to play this all day. I've been play waiting to play this all week. I've been very busy with work. And it's nice to be able to record this again and to be able to play this again and get my fill. Still not a fan of that. I'm glad the music doesn't play when we approach it from this direction. Like, massively so. Because it gives me the heebie freaking jeebies. Oh, I've forgotten how to fly. And a touchdown. I don't like their design aesthetic for their spacecraft it takes a lot of kind of design notes obviously i can see what the designers were going for it's very much like uh area 51 i was trying to think of the, the word that begins with r to do with aliens rockwell something like that something like that correct me in the comments you guys know what i'm on about give me that kind of vibe but as far as our worlds go I don't like how hostile it feels. So let me have a look. That structure, the raised structure, still looks like I can't reach it from here. I think the answer to that is to go that way. So I'd have to go about this a bit of a weird way. There's also like a little cove in there. That looks really cute and adorable. Right, anyway. Push the raft. Push the raft first. Whoop. And let's go on a bit of a journey this time. Because we have the time. Isn't that exciting? I actually have the time to get this moving a little bit. And listen to the raft soundtrack. I can't remember what this part of the soundtrack is called. I'm pretty sure someone did tell me in the comments. But you know what my memory's like, guys. Come on, lay off it. 
This is scratching every maritime itch I've ever needed scratching in a video game. And it makes me grin like an idiot. <laughs> Come on. Oh. oh. Yeah, let's go in here. This feels good. Oh. It's hitting different. It's definitely hitting different. I cannot wait to finish this game so I can just go around and listen to all the soundtrack. So I'm going to need this one to get away to be able to go down there. That's where we need to go next. Hello, Brittle Hollow. So I've been in the temple. We haven't been this way yet. So we'll go and have a look and see what there is to see. I... There's something about these family photos. I know it's only a family photo, but they look like they're phasing. It looks like they're kind of like out of sync with everything. That gentleman has an instrument. I'd very much like to hear the song of your people. Do I want to go up first? Do I want to go up first? We'll go up first. I feel like this is quite an important building. This is the same artwork, as far as I know. I'm going to take the lantern in case we'd be needing it for something. It's a bit like a Chekhov's gun. Like, why would it be showing me a thing if I don't need to use it? Oh my god, is there really no way up? Come on! It's got to be a way up, or is that only accessible after this falls down? This is only going to be accessible after it falls down, isn't it? Oh, really? But I want to get up there and see the things. I thought there'd be like a stairwell to get up. Never mind. That's okay. That's all right. I'll go back in there at another time. Just trying to have a look. Oh, trying to just have a look at all the different stuff that in no my culture it was a lot harder to tell what things are here you can tell this is a lot more in line with kind of human kind of design elements i guess i mean obviously there's a lot of na nature kind of influence on things but this whole place feels more human i don't know if that's intentional but in the world of outer wilds this just feels uniquely alien I just what happened here like why is everything broken like there's just random bits and pieces that are just like smashed and I don't really know why I don't like their pictures okay that's the that's the thing that's okay That's another one? That's another tower. <gasps> Wait. There's a way in the bottom? Is that this tower? That can't be. Or is it this tower? Hold on, discoveries. You can wait. Sturks found a thing. And he doesn't have huge amounts of time. I just need to go and have a look. And see if there is like a little cove down there that maybe I would have... There totally is. Right, this can wait. I can come back here again. And I'm doing an adventure in... Before it floods, before it floods, before it floods. Let's go this way. Oh. Uh. 
Come on, what's it? Oh, ha, 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 secret! I knew I should have came over here. I knew this was a good idea. I knew it. Although, oh, yeah, cool. Right. Awesome! It's like a pirate cove. Why would they make the entrance so hidden? What were they hiding in here? Is it good? <gasps> this is homely. I like the rug. Ah, slide reel. Oh no, don't tell me I need a lantern. If I need a lantern, I'm gonna cry. Please don't tell me I need a little lantern. All right. What? These are obviously the... Okay, so that's whatever that diving bell sarcophagus thing is. All these buildings are connected. Right, that looks a lot of that building that's in like the side that I can't reach yet. That I need to, I think I need to go over there to get. That I'm guessing is this one. This tower, right? Maybe this will explain it. I've got a slide reel. Why don't I just go use a stupid slide reel, Sturks? But now I need, I need a, I need a place to go and, oh! Uh, slide reel it and I don't believe I've seen one and I'm a bit pressed for time now that damn is not looking healthy do you have one mayhaps ah you've got another reel though okay this is good this is good knowledge this is knowledge for later ah. but I don't have a lantern Ugh. the broken lantern can I do this quick enough, or is this all gonna is this all gonna be underwater? Or is this like the first bit of the village gonna be underwater? Do I have time? Where did I leave that other one? I left it somewhere. I left it somewhere. I left it up here. It was in here. I think. Yes. 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 This feels good. This feels right. I'll get that one. I'm gonna leave that one there just because I can. Quite frankly. No, 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 come on, I, I do have time, I'm, I'm adamant, I have time. <laughs> eh, right, insert lantern, cool. This should stop time, I should be able to... Jesus Christ, they're massive! It's like, hey, the oh! He's like, hey, look, this is where where we're from. Yeah, this is where we're from. It was that simple all along? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I need to remove the lantern from that one particular thing. Damn it, really? That's a very outer wildsy way of doing it. I guess we're not gonna have time. We, we're so not, hmm. Where could it go? Where could it go? There was another slide reel that I should have gone and looked at. I should have gone and done the slide reel, but this feels real important. This is another one.
I'm gonna come back when I have my big boy pants on. I am not entertaining that today. Um... I'm not even gonna bring up the fact one of them is missing. I feel like I just walked in somewhere I shouldn't have. I need sugar coated. Come on, 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 come on. You know what? I, you can leave that here, maybe. Ah. Uh, come on, please. I want to go this way. 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 Oh. That's a lot of water. That's a lot of... We're not going to make it. We're going to get stuck here. Uh, uh, my ship. My raft. How dare you. Uh, well, now I'm going the, the wrong way again. No. Oh. I electrocuted myself. No, because now I have to put my big boy pants on and go back. <laughs> uh, I have so much to unpack. That all happened so quickly. So they all went in there with that thing. With that art, I'm gonna have to take that artifact. I'm gonna have to get, get an artifact and go in there with an artifact and do something, and I don't know what. Will it kill me? I'm getting this on preemptively. Um. So they all went in there, and the, all those buildings are connected in some way. They're, they're transmitting something, be that like. Power is was like my initial thought, a bit like the the big pylons on the twin project. But one of them is missing. I'm guessing that whoever did the reels, maybe someone filmed it and someone put those reels there. So maybe one of them just stayed behind. Maybe there's like an archivist of some kind of, you know, like a historian. Maybe they're a bit like us. Maybe they're... They were tasked with just remembering. That would be nice. I feel like that would be less creepy than one of... Than one of them is just still out there with us somewhere. I don't really want to entertain that as an idea. I'm going to be completely frank with you all. If there's one of them out there, I am going to crap myself because they're like 10 foot tall. Which is not fun. I don't like it. We are, however, going to have to quickly make a quick stop here. And I'm going to have to grab that, the artifact. And I mean, it's even there. There's like... The drawing is on it, saying like, Hey, look here, I'm an artifact person. I make artifacts. Come get your artifacts from me. <sighs> what is going on here? I... And I don't understand the wrong way. I wasn't underwhelmed by the beginning of the DLC. It wasn't that I was expecting more from it. But I didn't really know how to feel about the feeling of it, you know. It's not like the, the base game where it's very, very obvious what kind of feels it's going for. You know, it's got a certain vibe to it. And I can see what you guys mean now about this is different. This is wholly different. But not in a bad way. I feel like I'm starting to get attached to this one now. I feel like I'm starting to get hooked to the feelings that this one has to offer me. But I'm really, really not happy with those corpses if one of them moves. You all know what's going to happen. You're going to see me scream. But not the first time. I, I, I don't think I've screamed yet in Still Wakes the Deep. But I felt like it. I felt like it. This is just a good segue into doing horror at some point. Oh, 
We maybe need to slow down. Does this thing have durability? <laughs> Do I need to be worried? Or can I just be absolutely carefree with my steering? I do try and be a good uh, helmsman, especially as it's literally going to be my job one day. Right, let's go this way. So I'm going to go find that other reel first. Right, we're going to go do the other reel. And then I'm going to take this down there. I feel like that's what it wants me to do. There's something about that fire. Right, so we're going to leave this up in the tower grab a light but not the lights because I don't like the idea of that door being open when I'm not around to see it that's just me kind of like you know when you're in the middle of the night and you don't like leaving like darkness behind you because it's creepy I can actually take one of these lights so I'll take that one we'll go to the movie theater guessing that's kind of what it is Um, we'll go to the movie theater we'll What did I just hear? There was no that. That was definitely not just wind, right? That sounded weird. That sounded like whistling or something. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Am I starting to hear things? Oh my god, there's more than one reel. These reels are in pretty good condition. This is the eye one, but this is in better condition. Oh! <gasps> Oh, or have we seen... No, we haven't seen the eye one yet. We've seen the planet one. But I don't think we've seen this one. No, we haven't seen this one. They found it? My thoughts exactly, dude. I don't like that they have teeth. What did they see? What did they do? I... I... That's Solanum's nightmare. Surely that can't be. The eye is quantum, right, in nature. Maybe it does it have something to do with who's seeing it, who's interacting with it? Is it a test? I, I just I can't accept that that's the future. Oh no. Please no. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Okay, so there's multiple locks. 
There's multiple locks. Okay. I can get behind that. I can get behind that. So we're going to have to find... I'm guessing three locks. Because that particular set of reels have got three different emblems. So they came all this way for the eye. And what, did they think the eye was going to destroy everything? Or is it... The eye just outlives everything, maybe. It's it's ancient beyond comprehension. Surely it can't be malicious. But imagine coming all this way. Imagine investing in, in all of this. Generations, probably, of these people growing up on the ship. Getting here and seeing that. But they know where the eye is. They found it. They actually found the eye. They know where it is. They've seen it. They've been there. But then surely that changes everything. As if you observe a quantum object, it completely changes. I... I don't know. I'm I'm feeling so many things, and not all of them are good. And speaking of not all of them are good. I I really really don't want to go down here. What do you mean conceal? Focus and conceal. Why do I need to conceal it? Oh. I can roast some marshmallow on it. <laughs> that does not feel good. This, what can only be described as soul fire, and my only need is to roast a marshmallow on it. Does this just need a fire? I'm guessing I can't just take this from one of them. Because that feels wrong. That feels so wrong. Okay, so there isn't actually anything that I can do yet with this. Which does actually kind of put my mind at rest. I thought I was going to have to go in there and do something. There might be something to do with that eventually. But maybe just not at this site. Let's try to get there. Let's try to get over there. And I don't know if it's even accessible at this kind of level of the water. But I guess we can go give it a try so they burnt this feels so i think because we're so used to the nomai who are they have human emotions and they have human curiosity but we've never known the nomai to anger i think that's the one emotion that seemingly is absent from them I swear I keep hearing things, but I don't know if it's just me making noises now. Oh, right. Completely different area. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't you electrocute me. Oh, we need to go this way. We need to go this way. Steer stacks. Here we go. Nice and steady does it. Oh, he says, I'm going a bit quick. Oh, right. Two for the price of one in this episode, guys. You guys are getting treated. Can I... I don't think I can read with this. I'm guessing not. No. 
There's definitely something about getting up there, maybe, or something that I can do up there. I just... Ugh. All right, let's go and have a look. Let's see what kind of stuff there is to see. There's a lot of, like, these lifts going on. I'm guessing that's what it all boils down to. I'm going to have to get a raft up here when it's a little bit higher. Okay, there's a building up there. That's one of the buildings we need to get to. Can I really not access this yet? Come on. This is me we're talking about. I am a pro out of Wilds player now. It's what I've kind of built myself up doing. I can't, I, I genuinely can't do it until I get higher water. That's vaguely upsetting. Can I hop on here? Oh, come on, that was nearly there. I thought I was being clever by coming over here quicker. Is there anything over there? We could go over there. Let's go over there. Let's just skip this bit out. We'll come back here at another playthrough when the water has gone. Or maybe even later in this one. This place is actually surprisingly small, now that I know what I'm doing with it. I feel like when you first get in, it's so wondrous and, you know, vast. But this is definitely... Holy mother of... Please, 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 please. No! <laughs> please, get over there. Get me over there. Get me over there. Get me over there. Ah. Come on, this has got to be good enough. This has got to be good enough. Oh, I'm nowhere near high enough. I can surely, surely I can park all my way in here. I'm not coming all this way and having my journey wasted. Okay, this is interesting though. There's a way in under the bell. Okay, cool. So there's a way in under the bell. Which is fine. Oh my god, I hate this. This is... Genuinely... Really... There's something about that that I hate. I'm gonna go out on a whim here, right? This has got the same antennae that that tower had. It's connected to that. I think that was one of the images we saw. Green to me, because I've kind of done a lot of like Warhammer. Yes, I'm one of those. Green to me, especially green fire in any kind of fancy setting, it's kind of like soul fire. This has got something to do with the Freaklet's souls. Is my understanding so far. But why? Why would it. Why. Why all this? Is this their, like, no my mask equivalent? Are they trying to, like, outlast the eye? Are they trying to outlast every. You know, what are they trying to prevent by doing this? That's, that's one of their flamethrowers. That's one of the torches they used. And it looks like they torched everything to do with this. They just, they've done this. They built this thing and then they have completely torn down everything to do with it. Which I really, I'm struggling to get my head around. Like why? Why do this? What is there to gain by doing this? What's up there? There's, some, there's definitely some of their funky writing over here. I didn't even think I could get up this high to be perfectly fair. 
I didn't think I could get this high. Can I get any higher? It's not looking particularly good, everyone. No, I don't think I can. I could definitely get lower. Is that a cave or is that just weird? Oh, if I jump down there, I'm going to regret it. If I jump down there, I am going to. Mm, no, I'm jumping. I'm doing it. I was just a. It was just a rock. It looked like a little outcrop, like a little thing. I don't want to go in that thing, but we're here. We're here. Right. Oh. 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 Oh dear. That was quite a bit more water than I was expecting this to be. I was right. Can I just <laughs> I am using what I in my head cannon I'm calling your souls. Look at that. It's almost easier to cook one when it's like this. That's good. Okay, so. It would appear that there's nothing I can really interact with, except I can just look at this thing. What was I hearing? That was... sound like breathing. Or snoring. You having a bit of a nap? There's so... Have they imprisoned someone? Oh, there's something in there. And that looks like some kind of way of snuffing out the fire, which is quite cool. Like, I don't think there's any way for us to interact with it, but the fact that they've got that kind of that concealment like they do on like this thing, like look, it goes like whoop, whoop. They've got that built. That's what that is. With weird, like, percussion -y bits on it. Oh, my. Ah. I'm leaving. No, I'm taking this with me. This is my good luck charm. Blech. I want to get out of the water so quick. I'm still at just a loss for words here. I just. I don't know what's happening. They definitely had to change plans, is the, the, the vibe I'm getting. They came here with what must be immense technology. Like, that, that he had, they had a little handheld scanner and they could scan the eye. Like, I thought the Nomai tech was impressive. Someone did point out to me... It's that time. Someone did point out to me that the Nomai we know are kind of here on a life raft. They don't have access to their myriad technologies that maybe the Nomai who are still out there do have. It's effectively like a bunch of like scientists on like a research expedition getting in a life raft 
landing on an island in the middle of nowhere with no way of contacting the outside world and building a civilization. These guys, on the other hand, they took everything. They gave everything. And I'm in a weird place where I'm half terrified of them and half pitying them. I feel pity for them. That's, oh, look at that. That's a proper little raft. I could put a little, I could put a little sail on that boy. Sail my way through. I want to sail. Uh, I'm going to find some fabric from somewhere. I'm going to like raft this up. And I'm still flabbergasted as to how we're getting recalled. Because the, the two species are not connected. In the slightest. Like... How? What aren't you telling me? I feel like these guys are reacting to this in a very human way. The Nomai have humans wonder and their kindness, but then also their kind of their need to question everything, question their morals, put everything on the line in the name of knowledge, in the name of science. These new fellas. They're kind of like the opposite. They, they, they seem to be willing to give everything, their body and soul, like for generations and generations to this greater good, this greater purpose, this calling. And then when they find out that it was all a lie, they don't know what to do. So they, they, they feel anger and contempt. And they lash out in a very human way, in a very, in a very, very human way. Almost childlike. And I mean it when I say I'm, I'm, I don't know how to f even feel about these guys. And that's weird for me. The Nomai, I think, were always this point of wonder and this point of oh my god who are who were they what did they do and i think that's because we can read what they say we can connect them we can read this translate i don't think there's any way we're going to be able to do it but out of interest So there's new dialogue that we've found with Slate now that we've found the, the stranger. Presumably because it's like, look, if you're going to find the stranger, you need to be able to do this. I wonder if there's any other dialogue we can unlock with anyone else. Particularly a certain person who I'm pretty sure it was one of these who helped us build the translator tool. Don't believe it was them. Oh, I've got new. We'll, we'll have a word with them quick while we're here. I found Feldspar. You found Feldspar? They're in the Dark Bramble Stars above. This is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for finding them. That Feldspar didn't immediately join you on your ship and return here. It's incredibly Feldspar of them. We were never entirely sure what Feldspar was thinking back then either. Still, we ought to fish them out of that dreadful place with all haste. Our radio Gossan and have them prepare a ship. It really should be Gossan who brings Feldspar home. Again, thank you. You can hardly imagine how profoundly happy I am to hear they're alive and unharmed. So, it wasn't them. Hey, I was just about to come find you. Yeah, okay, we've had that conversation. How? 
Can you help me translate this new alien language I found? A new language? Yes, absolutely. Stars above you bet I can. Just give me, let's call it a hundred samples, some form of epigraphical codex in six months and I should have the vague gist of the sort of graphemes this new language is working with. Gosh, I can't wait to get started. How do I do that? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Okay, never mind. It's worth trying. I guess. <laughs> never mind. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to go rest now. There will be more videos over the coming weeks. I'm just working a lot. Now we're getting into the summer season. The job I do at the minute is very, let's say, customer oriented with the holidays and stuff like that, making work a lot busier. So that's why there maybe won't be quite as many uploads, but we'll get there in the meantime. I'll try to do longer episodes, but do them less often for you guys, just so you're still getting the same amount of content. Thank you all so much though. I love this game and you know that by now. And I can't wait to see where this takes us in the future. For now though guys, as always, I have been Sirx. You guys have been incredible. And I will catch you all later for the next part of our little adventure. <laughs>